hello welcome to selection fish shop please if you are new in this channel remember to subscribe and turn on your notification button so whenever we post important video especially on this series of fish farming without water chain using probiotics you get the notification in today's video i'll be teaching and we are explaining basically the principle and how this probiotics works in water the principle of farming fish without water change i'm going to be talking about farming fish with probiotics which enables you to farm your fish without water change from stocking to harvest that is grow out without change of water that means you are running a zero water waste here in this farm it's a very simple principle that involves the introduction of useful bacteria to the pond or to the aquatic ecosystem, which we call probiotics. Probiotics are just useful bacteria, heterotrophic bacteria, which are of important benefit to the host or to the organisms that are in water. So when we introduce these useful bacteria, heterotrophic bacteria to the water, it has numerous advantages one of the advantage that you have is that one the probiotics which are the bacteria the useful bacteria that have been introduced into the water breaks down organic waste that comes into the aquatic body or the pond water as a result of waste from the fish and on, on, on eating feed building up nitrite the toxic forms of nitrogen in water it breaks those toxic compounds down by forming proteinous food which in turn are sources of feed to the fish again in the aquatic ecosystem so it's just a very simple process which we use bacteria to break down the harmful substance that have come into the pond as a result of waste from fish and on eating feed we use probiotics and we introduce them in water so for some of you that will be interested in the probiotics you can click on the link on the description and send us a dm and you can order for your probiotics and the probiotics we use for this farm is called bioclean we call it bioclean we are going to be showing you how these probiotics work a lot of questions have been arising from the previous videos that we made on our sources so far using probiotics to farm fish without water change a lot of questions are coming up questions like how does this process work how do you introduce the probiotics into the water? How can I get the probiotics? I'm going to be explaining all this in this particular video, and I'm going to be taking you on series on how to effectively farm fish without water change using probiotics. The process of farming fish without water change, which is achieved using probiotics, I'm going to be explaining a very simple process and very quick steps that we take to introduce these probiotics into the water. So what we do is we introduce a thin layer of sandy soil. The sandy soil we are talking about is the sand that we use for our block work or plastering or just serves as a substrate where the bacteria can attach themselves to. There are different types of probiotics that you can get. We have the solid form of probiotics and the liquid form of probiotics. But for the purpose of this farm, what we use are solid probiotics so these probiotics are solid in nature it's just like a powder the substance that is inside this particular product is just more like a powder and when it's being introduced into the water it becomes active and the bacteria grow and reproduces on their own naturally and what we do is they hold their self this substance or this substrate serves as a medium where they can attach their self to as they grow reproduce and uh, dominate the water but thereby breaking down the organic waste that have been introduced to the pond as a result of, of eating food and waste feed. The greenish substance that you can see in the pond are the proteinous food that the bacteria form, and we call them bioflock. And what happens is when these bioflocks are being formed, the fish in turn eat them and it serves as an alternative form of feed to the fish. One of the advantages of this probiotics is whenever you introduce it into the pond, it stays there and even after fish harvest, the bacteria are still there in the soil. So what happens is, even though we have harvested fish from this tank, if we put in water to this tank, the probiotics or the useful bacteria, the heterotrophic bacteria 
are already there so they will just have to start growing again and dominate the water when you pay a close look at the pond you find out that these are pond that have bigger fish and you might not actually notice the proteinous food but this other tank that have smaller fish you will notice some greenish substance on top of the water these are the proteinous food that the bacteria produces when they mix up with other microscopic organisms that are in water so you find out that there are some other tanks that are having greener water more than others and these are tanks that have smaller fish and what actually happens is this when the bacteria produce the proteinous food when there are bigger fish in the water they eat up the proteinous food faster while the smaller lives that are in water they don't when you pay a close look at this particular fish tank you find out there are more of these greenish substance that are that looks like algae but they are not algae they are called flux this happens when the bacteria have mixed up with some other organism in water and this flux comes out in ponds or in tanks that have smaller fish and the bigger ponds that have bigger fish eat up these flux and this greenish substance called flux which are proteinous fingerlings have been introduced to this pond and we have bigger flux here because the fish are not much and they are not feeding much yet to consume the flux that are already produced in the water but when you look at the bigger pond you find out that there are no flux in water because the bigger fish in water have consumed all the flux that might have been produced by the water and we also notice that the flux comes out when there is much sunlight we are pr practicing this fish farming in an open space it is not an indoor system of culture so you find out when the sun comes out productivity starts happening in the water the flux comes out more this system of fish culture is attracting a lot of attention and interest because of this its numerous advantages and uh, some of these advantages i'm going to be telling you in the course of this our series and i'm going to be taking you on the, all the steps and all the things that you need to know about this system of fish culture and we'll be doing more videos on the questions and all the necessary things that you might need for this system of fish culture so this farm setting have been giving us good results why we do more research and find out better improvements that can be done to this system of fish farming without water change so let us know what you think and you can ask all the questions that you need to ask on the comment section i'll be teaching more about the process of doing this system of fish culture thank you